defenses, commanders. It is almost time. I used to play a lot of StarCraft 2 way back Hunt, when it was released and got obsessed with it. Break. I played so much that I got Diamond League 1 vs 1 as Zerg, and even qualified for Masters League for 2v2 and 4v4 a couple of times. Then I shelved it for at least 6 years, until recently when a friend of mine asked me to play it with him. Nowadays the fun isn't to be found in competitive play, because that's just not what I'm interested in anymore, but I really like the co-op missions and I've found a commander which I really, really like. The commander is called Stukov, and his faction is all about infested Terrans. It feels like the best parts of Terran and Zerg mixed together, with a focus on swarming huge amounts of infested Terrans, supported by some infested mech units, like siege tanks and flying units like Liberators and Banshees. My favourite thing about this faction is that you can get stupidly huge armies of infested civilians and infested marines. The infested civilians spawn for free in large groups, whereas the infested marines can be built from the barracks for a very small amount of minerals per marine. They move extremely slowly off creep, but on creep they're decently quick. For those who don't know, creep is the purple goo that the zerg structures secrete. The infested civilians and marines are highly expendable and are timed units that die after something like two minutes. But due to how cheap they are, and how quickly they spawn, the fact that they're on a timer doesn't bother me. The other units, like siege tanks, are all permanent. Infested Terrans have always been my favourite units in the StarCraft universe. In standard StarCraft 2, the only way to get Infested Terrans is to use Infestors. These can spend mana to launch eggs, which will hatch into Infested Marines. I used to like getting lots and lots of Infestors and dropping buttloads of eggs into an unsuspecting enemy's base and blowing it up. Infested Terrans share some similarities with zombies, and they could be considered a type of sci-fi zombie. The faction also has some cool abilities, like the ability to infest a structure, causing it to rapidly heal and spawn heaps of broodlings. You can use this on your own structures or your allies' structures for defense, or on enemy structures to assist with offense. You can also spawn in two timed elite units, the Apocalisk, which is a giant mechanical ultralisk, and Stukov's battlecruiser. The Apocalisk is really cool and it works like a giant ultralisk, but it also has missiles that it can launch at flying units. These missile barrages do a lot of damage. The Apocalisk can also tunnel and burrow underneath enemies and burst up from the ground, throwing them all around. Stukov's battlecruiser spawns heaps of infested Terran eggs and also shoots out tentacles that pull enemies closer toward it. When it dies, the battlecruiser crashes and becomes a building that spawns lots and lots of infested Terrans. The building expires after a little while. Both of these summons are free and on cooldown, and you get to use them many times in the match. In my opinion, this is the best StarCraft faction ever, and lots of fun is to be had here. Even though it's not necromancy in the classic sense, it feels a lot like sci-fi necromancy, and the infested Terrans behave more or less like zombies. Even if it can't really be considered a necromancy experience, it can at least be considered an awesome miniomancy experience, because you really get to swarm like nothing else. Thanks for watching, I hope this video has been able to provide you with something new and cool to play. I've got more videos on necromancy stuff coming soon. If you like what I do, please consider becoming a patron. You can become a humble skeleton for one dollar, which will give you access to some private podcasts and private posts and updates, or you can become a master necromancer, which will give you a unique discord rank, as well as access to alphas and betas of my game projects. All patrons are also added to the credits for my game, because they fund and contribute to its development.